In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to do a schematic of a simple electrical circuit. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put that on a printed circuit board. So let's start by opening up the schematic in our schematic program. And to convert this to a circuit board in dip trace, it's quite straightforward. You just hit Control B. And dip trace is going to take these parts and the footprints and copy them to the PCB layout program. This is the PCB layout program and usually people start by laying out the board itself. Uh, to set the board, uh, the shape of the board, you use this board outline tool right here. You click on that, click on the first point where you want the board, usually I put it at uh, zero, 00, the design origin, and then click on each of the corners. On the last corner you just right click and hit enter and that's your board outline. You can change it by hovering over and dragging the points if you want to make it bigger or smaller as you go through the routing process. Now once you have the board outline we're going to take all the parts and we're going to put them on the board where we'd uh, like them to be. So it works just like the schematic program you just click on the uh, uh, footprint and drag it around and uh, there you go. You use spacebar to rotate it if you want to rotate it and you can use this rectangle select tool if you want to grab several components at the same time. How you lay it out is up to you. Uh, keep in mind that uh, if you're laying out for instance a microcontroller you probably want to put the bypass caps near the VDD VSS pairs like with the propeller. And uh, the schematic doesn't communicate all of that uh, electrical or physical information so you want to keep that in mind as you're doing the layout. For instance, I'm putting the uh, bypass caps for the voltage regulator uh, closer to the voltage regulator, right? Move these closer. You can see dip trace uses this nice uh, grid to lay things out. You can change the uh, pitch of the grid with this drop down if you want a finer control. You can also zoom in using the plus button on your keyboard and zoom out using the minus. If you see these blue lines here between each of the parts. This is called the uh, the rat's nest. Uh, it defines, uh, it shows you where all of the uh, pins are going to be connected together. We haven't routed them yet. We're just about to. And what we'll do is uh, click on the pins and connect them as the blue lines are telling us to. And then when we're done, all the blue lines will be gone. So a circuit board is made out of uh, multiple layers and uh, in dip trace you can take a look at each of these different layers right here. There's a silk screen layer which is that uh, the printed layer on top, the solder mask layer which is the uh, the resist or the colored part of the board, uh, the paste layer this is where uh, uh, solder paste will go if you're doing surface mount designs usually, a top copper the the traces on the top side of the board, a bottom copper the traces on the bottom side of the board and if you have a multi-layer board you'll have more trace layers if you're doing a two layer board you're going to have traces on the top of the board and on the bottom of the board. If you're doing a one layer board you're just going to have traces on the top. Uh, if your design has traces on the bottom and you send it to the manufacturer uh, they'll ignore it if you've asked them to do a single layer board so keep that in mind. Bottom paste just like the top paste. Same thing with the silk and the mask. And uh, the assembly layer. This is just uh, notes uh, and kind of uh, assembly uh, information. It's not going to get manufactured or anything. It's to assist people uh, when they're putting together your design. And then the board outline shows the board itself. So as I'm moving stuff around here, I note uh, that this battery jumper, one side is negative, one side is positive. Uh, you can put arbitrary shapes and information on any of these layers by simply using this drop down here selecting the layer you'd like to put the uh, text or other information and what information you want. I want to put a minus here so that when I'm assembling this I know which uh, hole uh, or which pad should should go to the black wire on the battery box and that's that one right there. And I can put a plus as well on the other side. Now the, uh, the grid on dip trace is pretty coarse right now. I can either uh, use a finer pitch on the on the grid or I can hit F11 uh, to 
kind of hide the stop using the grid for for fine pitch placement and then when I'm done I hit F11 again so that's the battery jumper looks pretty good and I can select all these guys here Make sure I got them all and move them around now I uh, I'm pretty happy with the the way everything is put let's put one more thing let's put some text on the silk screen so we'll put uh, select the the text tool make sure we're on the right layer click here and just write uh, whatever we want to write right click when we're done and then uh, we can click on what we just placed there we can shrink it and move it over dip trace also supports uh, true type font so you just right click do two true type and you can change to a system font or whatever and that's helpful if you want something that looks nice or you want to do some some fancy artwork or even if you want to uh, just write uh, some information for the user or to help yourself like we did with these pluses here uh, the next step is to do uh, the routing. So the way we do we, the routing right here is through this route manual selection. We can start wherever we want. Usually you're going to do some routing. You're going to look at it. And you're going to say, OK, I need to change some stuff. Then you're going to do some unrouting, then move things around. It's, it's an iterative process. It's not hard to do. Just it takes some time. So let's start here. Why not? So that's our first route, and you see this this red line. This is an actual copper trace that's going to be on the board. And you see the blue line connecting these uh, two pins has disappeared. As you go through the routing, the blue lines are going to disappear, and that's your indication that they're connected. Click there. There we go. We'll do this here. So, for instance, looking at this, I, I realize probably easier to to rotate this. I use spacebar to rotate it. And we'll keep the, the minus information there. And you know what? If I know which pin is, is the negative, then I can deduce the, the positive. So we'll just use the negative. And we'll route the negative. So that's our negative. I cancel. And then we can keep on routing. Now I want to keep this, this space in front of it open, probably. Hmm, yeah. There we go. It's pretty ugly routing. Uh, cancel there. But it gives you an idea of, of how to go. And uh, one of the best uh, things to do is look at other people's work to give you ideas on how to improve your uh, routing. Um, if you go on Gadget Gangster, all of our boards, most of the boards are done in DipTray, so you can just grab those files off the project pages. Uh, one little tip. So uh, all of this stuff is the this is the negative net. If you right click on it, we can just change the name of it from net zero to GND, and that'll just help us to understand how things are connected. And we're just going to keep on going through the routing here. Uh, I want to do a single sided board just to keep it as inexpensive as possible. There's that. And the one last pin to connect is this negative right here. Oh, one more. There we go. Pretty ugly board and pretty ugly uh, routing, but I hope it gives you a an idea on how to do uh, some simple routing on DipTrace. There are a couple more tips and tricks, and we'll go over that in a in another tutorial. Um, but that should be uh, enough to get you started on doing a basic circuit board design. Uh, also, like I suggested, uh, take a look at other people's work, and it'll give you an idea on on how to do uh, basic routing.